Hey there, it's Justin, answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. Today's question is, what's the difference between a function-based view and a class-based view? So these two things are very common and sometimes commonly misunderstood. Now, if you wanna learn specifically about class-based views, we have a whole project dedicated to it on joincfe.com slash projects. Now, class-based views themselves are not actually much different than function-based views. The question is, what is a view? Well, a view is the logic that handles any particular request based on the URL that it's routed to. So in your urls.py, you create a URL that routes somewhere, right? So I just said joincfv.com slash projects. So the slash projects part is gonna go to a view. That view is gonna be handled somehow and the way it's handled is either through a class-based view or a function-based view. So they actually perform the same sort of thing. They handle the view and they usually render some context into an HTML document. So a request comes in, it goes to the URL. So Django says like, oh, here's the URL it goes to. And then here's the view that actually handles that URL. So when Django does that, there's a view function that is handling those sorts of things. And they both do the same thing by returning some response, which is probably some sort of HTML. Now, what the difference between the two is just really how they're written. One is using a Python class, one is using a Python function. But the at their core, they actually do the same thing. Now the difference, the main difference here is class-based views are a Python class. That means that they can inherit from another class that already handles a lot of the logic for us. So once it, it's basically a shortcut, using a class-based view is a shortcut to do a lot of the same sort of things that you might do in your views, such as a detail view. A detail view would get like something from a model and show the detail from that model, right? And that's the biggest difference between the two things, where a function-based view doesn't have anything that it's inheriting. It's everything has to be written for it, right? So using function-based views a lot is actually not dry. It's not called dry. So the concept of don't repeat yourself. Function-based views, you have to repeat yourself if you're only using those. Now, function-based views are so much easier to get implemented because it's just a Python function. It takes in a request, returns a response. You don't actually have to learn about how it works. You don't have to understand the shortcuts. You don't have to understand the methods that are built into it. That's being said, class-based views have a lot of things already built into it. So once you learn them, it's a lot faster and it allows you to be more dry. It allows you to not repeat yourself nearly as much. So that's the, the uh, conceptually the difference between them. Now, when, you, when it comes to actually building them and doing them, that's when you actually have to learn about class-based views themselves. So actually designing your own class-based views and designing your own function-based views. And actually we cover a lot of function-based views because the important part is not how the view is designed always, right? So the important part is getting it done so you can actually build your project and finish your project. And then what you can do is always increase or improve the way you do things. And that's where our class-based views really come into play. And once you learn class-based views, it's a lot easier to learn the Django REST framework because they both kind of meld in together on how they actually work. The Django REST framework is very much based off of the, the Django class-based views. Like they, they really, I mean, once you work with them, you'll see how similar that they actually are. Um, but there are advantages to both sides of the equation, but if you wanna learn about class-based views, again, check out the class-based views project that we have at joincfe.com slash projects. If you wanna learn more about function-based views, a lot of our projects already do that, so you can actually check those out as well. Thanks so much for the question. Um, and again, if you guys have questions, joincfe.com slash knock. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.